Here we're going to be taking a look at a very useful feature in Mastercam called Whole Axis. What this is going to do is it's going to create geometry, both lines, arcs, and points based upon the axis of a whole. This works really well if you're doing anything that's remotely related to four and five axis or multi-axis programming. So in order to do this, we want to go into Model Prep, and then we're going to select Whole Axis. This is a very, very powerful tool, one that I use all the time. So we have a lot of options in here. We can do just the whole. We can do a spot drill. We can set the vector length for that. We can allow split holes. Okay, we have a few split holes down here on the model. We can also allow or not allow tapered holes. I can select all holes if I want or I can be very specific about which holes I want to use. Now here's where we get into certain choices we can make. So I can have it include the axial line, the center line of that hole, uh, join coaxial, uh, I can have it create the points and I can have it create the points either the top of the hole, the bottom of the hole, or both. I'm going to leave this on top. Now circles is really cool because I can have I can create a plane from any circle. I can also create a plane using the line, but it's, it's easier using the circle. And I can have that do the top, the bottom, or both. And I can extend the axis, both the top or the bottom, for that hole. This, really, this works really good when you're dealing with a five-axis program, multi-axis program, where you're using the drilling feature and you want to make sure that the drill is breaking through the bottom of the hole. This way you can give it an additional length on the bottom so that it will it will break through. Because on that geometry, and we'll go, we'll go this in the later video, where on a five axis drill, the bottom of the line, that's where it's going to drill to. And orientation, the first pick, or if you're working on a construction plane, uh, direction, defined, okay, including blind holes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select a few holes here. So you want to pick on the wall of the hole itself. And I'm just going to pick a few of these. I'm going to come down here and notice how these are angled. I'm going to pick these two down here. And then we're just going to say, hit the blue check on this so that that's okay. Now we can see the, the points that we're using and the axial line that's going down inside the hole. Now, if I have just split holes, if I want to try to, if I didn't have my add split holes checked, it, won't, it wouldn't do it. So if I select this one and this one and this one, let's say, and then I hit the blue check, it won't do it because the holes have an actual split through the middle of them. So having this turned on is just easy and handy. And then we'll accept that. So then it's doing those. And it will also do tapered holes. I have a tapered hole here, but know that when I when I select the tapered hole, and even though I have my circles turned on, both top and bottom, and I hit the blue check, it's not going to give me either because it's an angled hole and it's going through each side. But that doesn't really matter so much as the line is the really important feature or the point for drilling is the really very important feature for creating that whole axis. Again, very powerful tool.